This modification is primarily not intended for noise reduction. The rear fan installed in the Soval SV07 is indeed very loud, however. This volume results from the high rotational frequency and the required volume flow. Soval has installed a powerful 70x70x25 70 70 fan with approximately 5,400 revolutions per minute. This can generate approximately 50 CFM volume flow normally. Component cooling must be generated using a radial fan. This can build up enough pressure to generate a cooling function for the filament strand just deposited on the nozzle plane in a targeted and efficient manner. That's why I was also somewhat surprised that Soval is using an axial fan here. This was also the reason for examining this approach more closely. I started with the CFD analysis to determine the current state. The created CAD model and the distances to each other correspond to the real dimensions in the Soval SV07. In addition, I placed a 40 mm high cylinder on the print bed as an example. I have now created a CFD analysis on the model. Here is the shocking result. To illustrate the flow generated by an axial fan, I'll make the model transparent. Here, you can see the very poor result. Due to the rotation of the axial fan connected with little pressure, only a rotary flow develops inside the channel. The flow vectors do not receive a linear direction at the outlet and do not direct the cooling to the nozzle. On the right side, the air is blown down onto the print bed, as can be seen. On the left side, the flow hits the inside of the housing and is then directed outwards from there. Here again in red, where the majority of air is wasted mostly off the nozzle plane. After the theoretical CFD analysis, I created a small practical test setup. Here, too, I recreated all distances to each other in real life. In the background, a flow meter can be seen, which will be used later. The green cylinder is the component to be cooled accordingly. The cocktail flag is a practical indicator to make the flow practically visible. It is very clear here that on the right side and in the middle, the air is blown exclusively down onto the print bed and almost nothing arrives at the nozzle level at the top. Only in a small area on the far left side does the air flow towards the nozzle height. The behavior shown here with the cocktail flag confirms the results of the CFD analysis very clearly. The measuring lance from the flow meter shows identical results. From this point on, it was clear to me. I had to solve exactly two problems. First, I need an even pressure distribution across the entire outlet channel. Then I have to direct the uniform airflow at the nozzle height. I designed a guide channel that can be easily inserted into the existing channel.
after several modeling loops with subsequent CFD analysis. I achieved a very good result. Due to the radial flow, the airflow still has a slightly lateral deflection. But I hit the nozzle plane very accurately. This created a flat airflow entry at the nozzle height. And here again the practical experimental setup. It is clearly visible how the cocktail flag is waving exactly at the nozzle height. There is no more airflow below the nozzle. Final measurement with the flow meter confirms this again. The flow sum is now in the right place. 